Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logi Screenhouses, and today we're going to be talking about root health. Of all the conditions that cause stress in terms of culture, damage to the root system is probably one of the greatest and probably one of the more frequent. Uh, most of the damage is caused by diseases, and those diseases are pathogens that um, consume the roots and kill off the roots. So we always say that when you're having trouble on the top of the plant, it's looking funny, things aren't right, the luster goes away or the sheen goes away, plant doesn't seem to grow, you get some damage to the leaves, um, typically would be um, even micronutrient problems. Um, you always check your root system. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about root disease, how to manage it, and, um, and how to um, identify it. These are citrus, most of these are Meyer lemons. The majority of these have been grown in a cold greenhouse and there's varying degrees of stress on them. I always say that roots don't die from old age, they die from something. And most of those somethings, as I mentioned before, are diseases. These are uh, pathogens, um, fungi that um, attack the root system and then kill it. And so what we're doing is, is we're looking at some of these plants. Um, now, there's uh, my, some micronutrient deficiencies in these that um, could be indicative of root disease. It also can be because they've been grown under very cold conditions during the winter time. There's also, right now, um, a flush of growth happening. You see the new growth on all these tips, new growth right here. That means that the plants are becoming, obviously, becoming active, and um, it also means that the root system is starting to become active. So what we do is we take a plant like, um, like so. Now these are being grown in plastic pots. This is one thing that can increase the problem of root disease because um, it holds moisture for a longer period of time. But we simply would knock the plant out of the pot and then we examine the root ball. And here you can see the, the roots on a citrus um, initially um, can be very white, but they will turn this kind of tan color. And you look it over, and that root system is actually in um, fairly good shape. Um, it, it's, there may be a small amount of damage here and there, maybe not root on the very bottom there, but for the most part, that's a healthy root system. And the thing about root diseases is the percentage of um, damage that it causes. I mean, something like this, and maybe a 5% damage from a few roots going by or being affected, but for the most part, this plant isn't even going to be phased by that. It'll just keep growing. And in that case, it's, that's, that's fine. And here's one that's been sitting in a gallon of, um, a plastic gallon. And you can see, if we look at the bottom of this, it's lost its entire root system here. And you can see when we touch it, the roots simply fall apart. And a lot of times we'll have questions come in about, why my plant is not doing well, and we always say check your root system for healthy roots. And this means taking it, knocking it out of the pot, and just touching them. If the root system falls apart, you have some kind of damage. Now this is a, a plastic pot, water could have sat at the bottom, possibly could be an issue of um, anaerobic bacteria or anaerobic conditions getting going and kill the root system off. But when I smell the soil, it doesn't smell sour. It actually smells like citrus roots. And you can see here, there's a new white root coming out. And from here down is all healthy roots. So the only place the damage occurred was at the very bottom where there was high moisture. And you can see we're starting here in the springtime with active growth. And this plant, although it's um, showing some symptoms, um, the leaves of some chlorosis, nutrient deficiencies, it's flushing new growth. The deficiencies probably were caused more by the cold, and this plant's going to come out of it um, in great shape. Um, it's actually on its way to do that. So we consider this a healthy plant, even though we've lost the very bottom root system, and you can see the damage to that. Here's a young plant that is just starting to grow, and you can see the root systems are nice and white. They will eventually turn tan, but <clears throat> that root system is in great shape. So. The question is, is how do we manage that so that it doesn't consume the plant or we can keep our roots healthy so there is no disease? Uh, the most important thing is watering. Don't water the plant until it's showing dryness to the surface of the soil or going into a wilt. The other thing to do is to make sure that if you have plants that are prone to it, and we often mention that um, when we're talking about a particular species or, or uh, genera of plants or whether or not they have root rot susceptibility. And many don't. Many plants can thrive with all the water you give them, plastic pots, cold temperatures, and whatever. 
other plants are susceptible to it. The most notorious of them probably is the gardenia. Um, and then citrus will follow behind that. And there's a few others that um, are very susceptible. When you're growing plants that have that susceptibility, make sure that you, know, you manage the soil moisture from dry, not to the point where you damage the plant, but dry to wet, dry to wet. Grow in clay pots rather than these plastic pots because that gives you a quicker dry down. Make sure that your soil has good aggregates to it in, in air, because air is an important thing. These, we often would call these water moles in the sense that they live under these anaerobic wet conditions. So the more porous your mix is, the more open your mix is, the better it is for the root system to stay healthy. But the most important thing is to understand the plants that are susceptible to um, these root diseases and then address the environmental conditions that affect them and you can actually circumvent the damage. So thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on how to keep your roots healthy and thus keep your plants vigorous and growing. If you'd like more information, you can visit us at logis.com.